My dad, Frank Laubach, was known around the world for something called Each One, Teach One. How did that start? One time, a dato, that is a village chief in the Philippines, said, I did not pay when I learned how to read, but I can pay if I go and teach somebody else. Then he said, he picked up a big crease like this, a weapon, and he said, if they do not teach others, each one, teach one or die. <laughs> well, my father thought, that's a good motto, but he dropped the old die part immediately. So that's where each one, teach one began. As many young men, I believe, I thought at first I'd like to be a doctor or a scientist of some kind, but I didn't have that capacity. And I took a test over in New Jersey, and they told me that, really, Bob, you're fit for languages and for history and geography and that kind of thing. So at the end of World War II, I happened to be working with my dad in New York City, and there I began to see that literacy was my real calling. I was teaching in the School of Journalism of Syracuse University, men and women, how to become directors of literacy programs and how to write very simply for new readers. Sometimes they say, Bob, let's make sure that these things really work. So we decided to go to the school board and test it. And we wrote a little paper and somebody in my class hollered, let's call it news for you. I said, oh, that's a good idea for a newspaper. We took it to class and my students sat in the back of the room and we listened while people stumbled over the word congressman or establishment. And then we went back and wrote them again and again. That first issue of News For You in January 1959 is still going today with a circulation of more than 100,000 and about 400 people are getting it online around the world. Well, today, some 55 years later, New Reader's Press is a major focus for pro-literacy. And it's amazing how it has grown from that one little publication to more than 400 publications now, how to teach people how to read, and a wide number of books on many different subjects that new readers need to know. I'm proud of living in Syracuse because over the years, Syracuse, New York, has really become the literacy capital in the United States. In 2002, Laubach Literacy and Literacy Volunteers of America merged, and now we have over a thousand affiliated councils in every state of the Union and all around the world, helping literally hundreds of thousands of people every year. Quite often I have met people whom I am quite sure need literacy help. But even then, it's very difficult to get through the sort of the stone wall they have. They don't want to, the world to know that they cannot read, especially in the United States of America. In other countries, you go to Africa, you say there's going to be a literacy program, people would come flocking by the hundreds. But that's not true in America. I would encourage any adult to seek help with his or her literacy problems because literacy will open doors for you, for jobs, for better understanding of the world, and to be more at home with other people in your society. We all ought to be literate. It's my prayer that someday we all will. I've had the opportunity to meet literally thousands of tutors and their students in every state in this country and all around the world. And you know, there's something maybe that everybody needs. A good tutor is one who smiles a lot <laughs> and immediately shows that he or she is a friend to everybody else. And one who wants to sit down and help somebody else 
come from the depths of illiteracy up into the light of literacy. So I think that's the important thing. Each one teach one and each one smile at the student and smile at other people. Literacy has been a very, very meaningful part of my life, all my life. Well, I've enjoyed talking with you. And my motto has always been, keep smiling. You know, every one of us has in our lifetimes tears and joys and ups and downs. But with it all, if you can keep smiling, you will get through life much more happily. So, so long everybody, keep smiling. <laughs>